Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from the Amazon Review Series. Uh, we were contacted by another company here and uh, they sent us another package or a package from them. And uh, as you can see, this is a small tool kit. Uh, now this is basically a screwdriver type kit. It does have lots of different bits in it. It is a 47 in one, as it says up here. Now this is by the company Pengong as you can see and uh, you know this was uh, this one's a little bit different than one I did before I did do a previous one with a uh, screwdriver kit uh, from Amazon this one has uh, some different features and everything uh, the little stamp here the little uh, barcode is kind of covering it up but right here you can kind of maybe make out a little bit it's a uh, cell phone uh, that's kind of what this is geared towards is using it on electronics um, especially smaller electronics uh, let's go ahead and open this up we'll take a look at the uh, parts inside all right so first things first we've got of course the case here and uh, this is a fold-out case it is uh, plastic but it does have this kind of rubber around the outside to give it kind of a non-slip grip uh, there is a uh, piece on the back here and I saw it on the uh, on some of the pictures uh, this little piece does come off and you can rotate it around so that uh, say you have a shop that has maybe uh, one of those uh, peg boards or something where you have lots of hooks or something like that you can turn this around and hang this up on top of uh, or off of one of those hooks so that it's up and out of the way uh, or you can of course just leave it down like it is to uh, keep it out of the way I will probably be throwing this into uh, my tool bag for work and uh, be using it for that now it does say that this is telecommunication tools uh, which of course again goes right along with the uh, the cell phones and things like that uh, now this has a flip open kind of cover piece and it is held together by two magnets uh, it then has some uh, has some little pictures and stuff here just some kind of extra little pieces and there we go as we open it up here is the kit as it is inside the uh, the container it does have a uh, little kind of plastic protector piece there and uh, you can see it does have quite a few different things uh, it looks like we've got a, uh, a whole bunch of uh, bits right here uh, there is a little extension piece right there there is of course the the little uh, screwdriver handle we also have a little hand ratchet as well as uh, this is an extender piece that uh, fits along with that uh, now these ones all are uh, as far as I can see they are all like uh, quarter inch uh, sizes so uh, you know they are the larger size whereas these ones over here I believe I think that's a four millimeter size um, have to double check on that one but that's what I believe that it is uh, let's kind of take a look at some of the parts now we've got a few sockets here uh, a few different ones and these are quarter inch drive sockets so if you had a ratchet and you needed some sockets you could use that but it also comes with uh, these little pieces now this is foam yeah this is this is like a foam that this is uh, that holds these parts in and uh, you just kind of press down and peel the parts out uh, here is the uh, it does have one of the uh, uh, spring-loaded bearing type uh, connector pieces and you can put that there and then you've got the little hand ratchet piece and uh, it just snaps right in there it is that's a pretty strong magnet it's it's magnetic so it just slips right in there and then you've got the little and it is ratcheting that way and then I think you turn it the other way to go yep so this is tighter this is to loosen it so you just turn it around it doesn't have a um, an adjustment thing here but it does show the arrows which way you turn it so of course you have the righty tighty and then the lefty loosey kind of thing to uh, kind of tell you which way that goes and everything so push that back in there and get these ones pushed in now we have a uh, it's kind of an extension bar like a like a wrenching tool uh, of course well we'll take this out again it does have the uh, the bit end 
so now we've got a longer handle so if the little hand ratchet isn't strong enough uh, if that's a little too small to get enough torque on it you now have this handle here and that's a, of course it's still a little bit shorter than the uh, quarter inch size uh, kind of uh, kind of sockets or ratchet or anything like that still a little bit small for that but these are all very small for the most part uh, this one is only uh, this is a 10 millimeter drive and these are all in metric so you've got uh, 10 8 uh, 7 6 and 5 so uh, not too bad a nice little selection there and then on the other side it has the uh, the hex head there which uh, maybe you could put it here yeah there we go and then we can take and we'll use this and put that on and you can then and then you don't you don't use the ratcheting part but you use it as a coupler basically and now you can use it to tighten tighten things up or loosen it up or whatever but this way it doesn't turn the only thing that turns is this piece here so uh, you know you can turn that as much as you want and this this part basically just acts like a straight bar and so you can uh, of course tighten and loosen everything up that way uh, pretty pretty nice kind of ingenious actually uh, makes it uh, very small and uh, uh, portable yeah, but you still have uh, the ability to have some some extra torque and torsion to uh, get those things tightened down depending on what you're working on now it does come with a uh, handful of bits here uh, we do have of course the kind of standard Phillips head we have the flat head and then these look like uh, these are T or Torx bits here uh, now we go into the little hand piece and the hand piece is very similar to uh, the previous one I had uh, this has just a, it gives you a little bit of torque it's uh, of course a plastic with kind of a rubber grip on it it does have the little spin base here so when you put some pressure on it you can press down and then still have it spin underneath your hand and uh, and everything and then you've got this uh, well this doesn't oh okay Oh, okay this is this acts like a um, what would that be like a drill chuck like the cordless drill chucks where you take and you screw it down or maybe a Dremel uh, the chuck on a Dremel of course you still use a wrench on those this one uh, I don't doesn't look like there'd be a wrench for this I don't know if you'd really want to use one on something like this but uh, you put the bits in here and then you can then tighten them down and uh, they'll stay in there real nice I don't know if this has like a magnetic connection to it as well let's let's take a look yep there is magnetic connection as well so you don't necessarily have to have that on there like that but if you're worried about it slipping out or anything uh, you can of course tighten it down uh, now you do have an extender and this looks to extend oh um, that's about two two maybe two and a half inches I'd say closer to two inches right there uh, overall and then it has of course the the magnetic tip I'm sure right there to put any of these bits in uh, now the bits the bits are actually organized vertically instead of in the um, I guess the sections or whatever you want to call them the little uh, but uh, oh this is this is kind of cool I didn't oh that's neat I did not expect that uh, if you want to get a bit you don't sit there and pry the whole thing out you just rock the whole thing up so uh, oh okay I see it you press this and it opens up it has a little bit of a spring-loaded thing there and that's a little clip there for it you just push that that's pretty cool kind of ingenious now uh, I do see this one this one of course is for removing sim cards uh, it has that thin little point of course you can uh, set it right in there yep magnetic tip right there just take that and push that into the side of a phone or if you have a uh, laptop that happens to have a sim card in it uh, you use uh, anything like that you've got those uh, this one uh, that's interesting I have not seen one like this before this is actually a reverse uh, Phillips head bit uh, kind of kind of different I did I did not let's see what does that say so that's a, a size 2 Phillips head so we could actually take a Phillips head here and put it on there and 
Now, I don't know what you would use that for, though, actually. That's, I, I've never, I mean, I've never seen a bolt that's a Phillips head, so maybe if you are got a Phillips head stuck in something, maybe they use that to loosen it up. I'm not sure. But uh, then we have a bunch of little, uh, of course, the little tiny sockets here. Uh, we do have some different ones. This actually looks like a little punch down tool right here. So uh, again, this is telecommunications. So for those of you who are using uh, maybe punch down blocks or something like that, uh, and you are setting wires in for a uh, phone system, or if you're going into a patch panel or something like that, uh, here is a punch down uh, tool right here that you can use uh, then we've got oops, we've got a handful of other different types of uh, of bits here let's see I uh, kind of take a quick look at what some of these say uh, we've got triangular heads we've got star five point star heads we have uh, let's see we've got torx bits in here uh, it goes uh, three four five six and seven we have, uh, let's see, are those square? No, oh, okay. We have um, uh, Allen, Allen uh, tips on here or the, uh, the hex head tips on there. And uh, those are metric as well, uh, as are all of these. So everything on this is all in metric. So keep that in mind if you're uh, looking at this and uh, you need standard, uh, you know, this is, this is a metric set right here. Uh, now you do have the very small uh, flat heads. It does have a one millimeter and a two millimeter. And then it has a one, one and a half, two, and three and a half millimeter um, type of Phillips head there. So uh, pretty, pretty interesting, pretty cool. Here's, uh, here's kind of a, a rundown, a picture right here. And this is kind of the whole listing of the different types of... Um, what do you want to call them uh, of the different bits and everything so uh, there you go there but uh, yeah this is this is actually a pretty nice kit um, I like I like all the options there and I do like uh, some of the um, the components and everything I, the the torsion bar basically is what I'd call it the fact that we got the extension and the fact that we do have some of these uh, quarter inch pieces as well but uh yeah i am definitely impressed this is uh this is definitely a nice little kit and uh one cool thing about this guys if you are interested in getting this kit uh, the company when they sent me this they emailed me a special code and that special code is going to be down there in the description below or you know what i think i'll put it right maybe like right here and uh, if we do it, we'll put it like right here. This will be the code. You use that code and uh, you go on to uh, the link that is gonna be down there in the description below. Uh, follow the link, use the code, and you will get 50% off. So uh, it is really cool. The fact that they went ahead and got my viewers uh, that special uh, discounted price. So, uh, you know, if you guys need a little toolkit like this and you want to get it for a, uh, a good deal, go ahead and use that code. Go down there and use that link down there in the description and uh, make sure you uh, follow that, put that code in and you can uh, save a good bit of money on what seems to be a pretty decent little little kit. I uh, just folds right back up together and there we go so you know what guys i th i think this is uh this will do it for me but uh definitely impressed i give it a good two thumbs up there uh if you guys want to check this out again uh go ahead and check out the code if you didn't catch it up here it is going to be down there in the description below along with the link to the site or to the uh the product on the way on the on the site and uh, from there, you know, while you're down there, of course, we've got our social media and everything as well as, you know, on your way down or on your way back up. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. It'll be floating around over there in the corner somewhere. Or if you don't see it, go down there below the video and hit that one if you haven't done it already, as well as hitting that bell icon so you know when we've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, guys. Well, my name's Cougar. Uh, this has been another episode from the Amazon Review Series. I would like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.